Hey guys, Ash here from Escape, bringing you a quick follow-up to yesterday's tips and tricks command line rendering video. The web candy left us a comment on the video asking, is this possible to do in Mac? So I found a Mac in the office and downloaded the free trial of Autodesk Maya 14, found out that yes you can. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. It's simpler than on Windows, to be fair. So I very quickly made a project called Ash Test, and then made a quick scene called Ash Test 1, where the little orange cube moves from one side of the screen to the other. I'm just going to close Maya so you can see that it has nothing to do with this. In Applications, I'm going to go to Autodesk, Maya 2014, and then open the Maya Terminal. This seems to be very similar to uh, the Windows Command window which we were using yesterday in the other video. Uh, so all you need to do here is type Render, space, minus R for Renderer, and then space MR for Mental Ray, and then make sure you put a space. And then the easiest thing for you to do is if you go to your documents and navigate to the scene file that you've got, where you've already opened up and you've saved all the correct render settings and whatnot, you can just drag it into the terminal and it puts the whole path there for you, which is really, really cool. Uh, I'm just going to nip into my images folder so you guys can see this working, and I'm going to press enter, and it's booting up Mental Ray, and the rendering has begun. Fantastic. So it's going to do... This is a 100 frame sequence, it's going to run through each frame one by one, just the way we want. I played with this a little bit before the video, and I can tell you that you can put, you can type render minus help and press return, and it does give you exactly the same help options. So it is just as customizable. You can put your start frame, your end frame, you can tell it whether or not you want to use motion blur or whatever using this terminal as well, which is really, really cool, really useful. So there you go. I uh, hope that helps you out, Web Candy and anybody else using Macs. And uh, tune in next week and we'll show you some more tips and tricks.